So I spoke with my attorney today at length. And um, basically, I'm going to have to draft a letter, send it to my brother, and hope and pray that he's willing to cooperate because if he doesn't and February 23rd rolls around there's going to be um, before the judge the accounting all the numbers and the claim that shows I've paid everything into the estate and basically what will happen then is I'll be made the sole executor and he'll wind up with absolutely nothing and I'll have to do so in order to make the argument to prevent the house to go in foreclosure um, I need to be able to secure the house I need to be able to have a guarantee that I can work from home without the house being broken into when I'm not there or when I am there have the house um, being ransacked um, my brother doesn't live there and and doesn't want to live there so I need to have that peace of mind that um, if I'm going to continue pre to prevent the house from going to foreclosure um, that he just doesn't come and go as he pleases and I hope and pray that um, very soon um, he realizes that The reality is I've been paying for two years for him to keep his stuff in the house. Whatever stuff that is that he considers his, he's going to have to remove it and realize that I'm no longer paying for this. I'm no longer paying um, for his storage and for the past, I guess, year and a half, maybe more, he has... Um, been keeping his stuff there um, and not paying for anything and I, I've been paying for everything so um, it's making it extremely difficult for me to not be able to set up my home office and the internet and resume working um, so what I'm doing now is just literally killing myself it's so exhausting and so little money and just covers my car payment and car insurance and um, very little else and um, I need to be able to repair the house um, and resume uh, the business I set up with my dad and uh, he's either going to have to make the decision that he wants to take some stuff some art that our parents made and, and, and put it in his storage and pay for the storage of it or get a percentage of the sales of the artwork now, that being said, I've paid for the hosting of GoDaddy for a number of years. I've been paying that, as well as the Shopify, and the Shopify is sales are paused. And when you tally all that up, um, again, it's me having paid for everything, not paying for, have not paid for anything. So, I think at this point, to sort of placate him and make him realize that. If the house goes into foreclosure, he, he was, he's looking at as his property being seized. Um, and instead of being able to, let's say, sell the two cars in the driveway, um, you know, they're basically going to seize that. And if for some reason he wants to cooperate and make me the sole executor, remove his stuff and make some deal, that would be much better then having to go before the judge and then the judge um, basically um, assigning me the executor, the sole executor and giving him a bill um, for what he owes um, so that's a really sad reality he seems to, to, to think that he can keep lying and making up these bullshit stories that are not based on any factual realities whatsoever um as if I'm somehow doing something wrong and he's the victim and, and uh, none of this ever happened, really, you know? It's as if, you know, he just wants to pretend none of this has been going on for two years and none, none of the 
behavior that he's done in the past <laughs> ever happen. And um, I'm glad that the court has now allowed me to save the house, but um, I've I, I, this has cost me all my my life savings and caused me a, a great financial burden. And let's let's be let's be blunt here. I went away for a, a brief period of time and found the front door wide open and everything upside down, turned around and dirty. A lot of stuff is missing. Um, house w was a basement under a foot of water. Um, and uh, he's made no effort whatsoever to sort of um, protect what my dad worked so hard for. Um, that being said, the storage facility is now doubling their price. I'm losing money every single day. I'm not making money. I'm just working to take the money and pay uh, the bills to keep my car on the road, essentially. Um, and the concept of, of, of having an income property and renting that out is so... Um, it's so far off on the horizon because the house needs a lot of work and it's so... I don't know how else to describe this. It's it's so bizarre that my brother doesn't realize that and want to accept that I made a pact with my dad um, long before he was dying to honor his legacy and, and keep making art and, and um, to to help my brother and the only way I'm going to be able to do that is by giving him a percentage of the sales and the longer he wakes the less money there is and less opportunity for him and if he doesn't want to cooperate then it's going to be the court deciding um, you know the, 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 the scale how the scales tip largely into my favor and that he'll he'll basically really wind up with nothing um, that being said I just uh, got off the phone with my lawyer again, and, and uh, I'm going to have to draft this letter, and, and um, I'm struggling with depression and trying not to feel uh, so overwhelmed and like things are out of control, but it's scary, and, and um, my dad was in such a precarious financial situation as it was that we were struggling to have a, a running car because we would constantly beat the car up going to and from the hospital I mean on a daily basis for years that we had multiple car problems with these used cars so we started renting cars and it was such it was if it wasn't him going in the ambulance it was having to rent a car the last minute urgently to drive him to different treatments and surgeries and, and um, hospitalizations in, in, and, in and out of White Plains in New York City so that was very costly, and, and my brother made up some crazy story that the house was paid in full. It wasn't. The house was refinanced in September before my dad died. We locked in a low interest rate, and it it yielded about eight thousand dollars, which in in the period of from September to November went towards a washing machine, a dryer, a refrigerator, bills that had to be paid, and the rental car. And my dad hadn't filed his taxes in four or five years. And when he died, he literally had $3,890 in his bank from Social Security and a pension payment and about $800 in an annuity. Now, I had an American Express bank account, which I noticed was liquidated. I don't know how that happened. I noticed the Ameriprise account was partially liquidated. Um, whether or not he's really entitled to any cash that's that's there at all um, is is entirely up to um, his cooperation at this point because he has not paid for the storage of his stuff. He has not paid the, the mortgage, and the mortgage right now um, is something that I'm trying to, to resume payments, and they're asking me for a lump sum that I just don't have. And in order for me to maintain the estate and maintain what what we can sell, I have to keep paying the mortgage. So 
he does not seem to have the compassion or empathy nor the consideration to take all of this in and process it the way a normal, rational human being would. Um, and the level of immaturity has 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 it's it's manifested it, itself into the point where I'm now dealing with somebody who, for the past two years. Um, literally made things worse off for himself and for me and just like he did my dad dragged my dad into the court into his miserable pile of bullshit um, and, and it's sad because at this point um, the court has designated both of us the administrators and I've, I've in good faith done everything I possibly could um, and my letter will be um, a testament to that, that I did everything I possibly could to, to make a deal with him, make an arrangement. And um, he just doesn't seem to understand that um, there, there's no free ride, there's no more taking from dad, there's no more, um, you know, there, there's no magical payout on the horizon. There is a debt. We inherited a large amount of debt and stuff and artwork. Um, and it's up to us now to come in agreement to list it for sale and sell it because that money is, is needed for the storage of it. Um, and because my brother uh, had it in him to sort of make things as difficult as he possibly could, there's been citations issued for the, um, the vehicles on the property. And those need to be sold as well. You know, they're unregistered. So all these things, um, you know, it's coming down to... The, the simplest thing would be to him to say, okay, uh, I'll, I'll agree to a percentage of the sales when they come through on the Shopify, um, and, you know, we could set that up online, and, you know, so that there's a direct deposit, a kind of thing, or he could take it upon himself to take some artwork and sell it and pay for the storage. Now, um, <laughs> you know, it's... And, and it's it's not as if he really even knows how to sell artwork or let alone sell anything. Um, so, you know, it's like, here I am losing money, being Mr. Nice Guy all over again. And it's, it's killing me. It's consuming my life. My quality of life has suffered tremendously. I feel a lot of despair and hopelessness and, 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 and feeling, gosh, how am I going to afford this? How am I going to pay for this unless I reestablish my online business and start working from home again, um, I'm not going to be able to afford to, to do this. I'm uh, uh, commuting to and from work with a $2,000 uh, a month car payment with a bachelor's degree with, with limited amount of skills. Um, it's really hard. And, uh, you know, and, and uh, that, that house requires me to have like a roommate, um, you know, so to speak. And, and, my dad would, would make the art with me and, and print it out and, and tell me, hey, you know, you know, someday it's going to be worth a lot of money when I'm not here. You know, I, I'm so sorry, Ollie, I'm going to leave you all this debt, but please try to use this wisely to save the house because there is no money. And uh, he had a life insurance policy, which is about 30000 um, 15,000 of which went to my brother, 15,000 went to me, and I took that, turned right around, and started paying off all these debts, and, and fixing up the house, and, and going into my entire life savings, just to make sure that the house is, is secured, and now, um, I owe a whole bunch of money in order to do that, and I'm paying for his storage, so... Um, I'm going to send out this letter. I appreciate any comments and suggestions you have. Um, I'm sharing my problems with the world because I'm also extremely lonely. I don't really have much of a family. I have a few really close friends out there. And, and, and I love you. I love you guys uh, very much. And, and uh, I, lo I love you all very much. And, and I appreciate the emotional support. Um, however, I am extremely isolated. And uh, I'm up there in the country, and, and uh, 
haven't been able to have people come over my house and visit me. Um, and my brother, for what it's worth, has, has managed to terrorize the few people, the few friends and individuals who care about me, friends of mine that show, that went to go at my house, they, they're like, wow, you know, I, I can't, your brother, your brother's, you know, scared me away. And, and you know, th this is a crazy situation, you know, the, 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 the situation has been an abusive one to me at best. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what it's like to come home and find all your stuff rifled through, your front door broken into. Not once, not twice, but dozens of times in, in the past two, over a course of a year, couple of years. Um, and, you know, to, to have your, your Wi-Fi compromised, your bank account information, your stuff, the, the, the you know, it, and it's just, it's, it's sick. And it's like, it's another pattern of abuse that he did to my dad with refusing to remove his mound of shit, not letting my dad paint in his own studio. Um, really just, uh, it broke my heart and, and it's preventing, preventing my dad from moving forward with his art career in, 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 in as much as he could um, and enjoying his studio. And, and, it, and it's, it's coming in the way of, of me having a better future at this point. Um, him not cooperating. So, again, I mean, the judge and everybody told him, you know, till, he, till you know, he, he just has, like, a, a, a something in his brain. It's almost as if when someone says something to him, he reacts in a paranoid way and a suspicious way and, and sort of will just change the subject or say something totally unrelated and bring things up in court which are not not only false but totally irrelevant and not helping the situation move forward um, he's taken out several orders of protections and filed criminal mischief complaints and they've all been dismissed and at this point that's a form of harassment the lawyer I have is on top of it and advise me uh, to have him committed because you cannot keep bringing people to court lying under oath and making up stories um, you just can't that's, 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 that's just an illegal thing to do first of all um, so you know I'm trying to work this out that's in a way that's going to be mutual, mutually beneficial for both of us and I can't protect him from himself that's what my father kept telling me. He says, you know, I can't, I can't help Andreas anymore. I give him money and he just doesn't seem to even care that I'm sick or acknowledge that I'm sick, offer to help out or seem to have any concern about anybody but himself. And that's so narcissistic and, and so s sad and painful for me to have to deal with because it's a self, it's like he's self-destructive and, and this will will wind up he gets a bill and nothing and um that's sad and 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 instead of me working out some type of arrangement with him um where i can continue marketing and selling it and offering a percentage and you know um saving the house so to speak and maybe at some point even offering him you know storage there um or a place in the backyard to put a, house, a mini house. I don't know, but, um, you know, or, or at some point, you know, having him manage it as a rental income property, who knows? But, I mean, that's my brother, and I, I've spent over 20 years trying to reach out to him and trying to talk to him and trying to engage with him and give him some advice, career advice, life advice, and encourage him to to work on the business my dad and I worked on to, to, to participate and he's not once ever shown any type of um, I don't even know what the word is a re reciprocation or, or interest or, or, or uh, empathy and uh, he holds this angry um angry, angry, uh, 
delusional um, slant and bent on things and it's like you know uh, uh, people are telling hey it's a sinking ship and he keeps poking holes in it so it's been very upsetting for me I, I'm, I'm going to be 50 years old I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted from working the most most of my life and, and from having to deal with the, the hardship of, of of having parents who were sick and having to take care of them and not being able to go back to college and school and being left with debt and, and uh, just really having been the only one to take care of my dad for many, many years without any help um, from anybody <laughs> has been extremely hard. It's... it's uh, I, I miss my father terribly, and, and I don't regret taking care of him at all. I, 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 I felt honored, and it, and it was a pleasure to take care of him, just to be with him and make him more comfortable, not abandon him in a nursing home, which is what his sister and brother wanted to do. It's what my, my, my brother wanted to do, um, and, and that's sick. That's what my father's family um, wanted me to do, just leave him in a nursing home. And um, I just, I, I just feel like, you know, you can only, you can only help somebody so for so long, but they, if they don't want to be helped and they don't, they don't want to be a partner with you, then they're they're gonna lose, and that's that's unfortunately what might happen if my brother continues to ignore me and um, not cooperate, and. Um, by sending him the letter, that's not an act of harassment, nor is that a, a violation of order protection. It's simply a letter, um, along with an email um, and one text that's going to be, hey, we need to work this out. Um, let's figure this out. Here's the offer. This, this is the expenses. This is what it is. And if you're not going to be on board with that, then what's going to happen is... Um, the accounting will will basically show that he's negligent and um, has caused damage and continues to pose a threat to the artwork and and um, has been negligent in the maintenance of the estate and hasn't paid into it and um, will will no longer be the administrator but will no longer have an offer that I can uh, give to him where he would get something because now he's in the negative uh, territory uh, to the tens of thousands of dollars. So, you know, you can't just expect me to keep paying for his storage, have a pile of stuff there and not be able to, to function normally in my own home because there's some crazy person who wants to come and go as they please and break stuff and steal stuff and then just leave a mound of shit there. I, I mean, it's... It's enough already. I, I, I'm so frustrated and fed up with this whole freaking thing. Um, so it's it's come down to that. And uh, if anybody out there has any extra money and would like to donate some money to me, please. OliverBoffy at gmail.com is my PayPal. Um, at some point, um, the, sales will, they, the sales will resume online. If you see some art and prints that you like, please put a comment. Please let me know which one you like. Um, maybe we can do an auction at some point. But um, also reaching out um, for some help, uh, uh, some advice, uh, some financial help uh, right now would alleviate a lot of uh, stress for me. Um, you know, maybe if there's someone else out there who's interested in, in a real estate investment now would be the time to talk to me about it um so my my brother is is just sort of one of these people that just kind of wants to let everybody else do everything for him and make it seem as if he's somehow entitled and that everybody everybody else owes him and he's the victim and everybody else did something wrong and everybody else is screwed up and you know everybody else is is uh is is lying to him (laughs) So, you know, I got this letter in my mind. I'm going to draft it up. I'm going to have to write it out and uh, send it off. So stay tuned. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate it.